I'll just ask you, you know, you know the question, but uh, we're just trying to find out like what you think some of the biggest challenges in, are here in uh, Tanzania for you know combating malaria and fighting malaria. And you talked a lot, and I'm really interested in you talked about uh, behavior change communication and how important that is. So what are some of the things that you see that we can do in behavior change communication? <laughs> Pretend it's not even there, right? Yeah, of course in Tanzania malaria has been a, a big problem and it's one of the major contributor to, to the burden of disease. So mm -hmm. when you look at the outpatient, uh, causes for the outpatient attendance and also in the patients, causes of mobility, mortality, malaria is uh, at the top. And uh, we have been doing a lot on dealing with this. There are different uh, programs, there's a national program, there are interventions which have been done. But uh, we have not really seen the results, the changes which uh, we expected on that. So looking at uh, some of the challenges, it's really on the knowledge, understanding about the malaria. What can be done about malaria, the prevention, not just the cure. Mm -hmm. So some of the interventions we have been distributing nets. And uh, we see that, yes, the nets are there, but the use of the nets, uh, sometimes uh, they are not used as expected of people because we are telling them that it's a net. The understanding the importance of using the net as a prevention, we needed to do a lot more in educating people to understand how the nets work. So this knowledge, uh, it's not just giving them knowledge that they know it's there and it's doing something, but why they have to do it. And this is why in public health we say that we needed to communicate for change, change behavior. Because some of the causes of not using it, it's a, uh, culture or things which people think will happen. And to change that, you cannot change it by just giving them information. You really need to work with them so that uh, you communicate in such a way people will internalize and see that they need to change their behavior. Mm -hmm. So if they were, they thought they were doing the net because they are told it's that, they need to see that they should be themselves look for the net because they understand the importance of the net. So this kind of uh, new approach in educating people for change of behavior is what we needed to do. And it will go in a long way also in the prevention of the environment, keeping the environment to keep away the mosquitoes. How, what our behaviors which are contributing to having more mosquitoes spreading there that, but understanding that they can come up with their own ways on how to live with them, without us dictating or telling them what to do. But they will generate that information themselves. So this is one way of dealing with them. People themselves understanding, not just being for them, but they doing it themselves. So that's one challenge. But the other challenge is really uh, on the availability. Mm. We are talking of distributing, but you may find that uh, you are giving two nets for a family. But you may find there are ten people in that family. How are they going to use the two nets? But when they see the way the, the results of the two nets, then they can look for more nets themselves right. after understanding. So then that is the, the issue. The other issues is we discuss with them on those, how to deal with the other needs also on the economic side and all that. In the education for the malaria, we can also be sharing information on what they can do to address their economic situation. They are health first because they cannot work well if they don't, they are not healthy. So mm -hmm. they have to, how to link these things, the linkages, they need to understand that. If you are waiting for the government, but the government cannot give you food, but you need that, you need to be healthy, to work, to earn something, and that uh, you can can do that. So understanding the whole concept, this is what goes in also when you are doing behavior change, communication, all these issues they can be addressed. But also on the health services themselves, because uh, we cannot reach that level immediately. Right. We still need those who will get sick, they need to get the services, they need to be healthy into that. So you need also strong health system 
which can support the efforts what the community is doing. We can do the education, we can do the communication and all that, but we need the system also when they need that care. So the system needs also to be strengthened. It's another challenge. Availability of those resources to do that includes human resources, financial resources, all these they have to go together as a package, not dealing with one only communication without the others. So they need to be looked into uh, comprehensively. Good, good.